There's a little bit of showing some of the uh, games I put onto my iPhone. Uh, I'm not going to show you all of them just because I have a lot of them, so it might take up too much time. Let's try to show you some of the uh, better ones and some of the newer ones. Um, for that sound effect thing, uh, you can check out the blog on the descriptions page and it will show you how to do that kind of stuff. Let's go into games. And I'm just going to show you some of my favorite ones. Uh, first one I like is Guitar Hero 3. It's actually called Tap Tap Revolution because it's just a theme over it. Let's play it. And it lets you choose your own songs. You can create uh, buttons for them. Or you can just use someone else's. Hard to play. So that's Tap Rap Revolution. Let's go into the games. By the way, let me show you just uh, some of the games I have on here. It's quite a few. I'm not going to show you all of them just because it'll take out too much time. Solitaire, great game all the time. Hard to get more solitaire. It's a great way to pass the time. There's Contrasense. This one actually uses the uh, the accelerator, so you control it by moving the iPhone. And the whole point of it is to avoid traffic as much as you can. I'm going to skip down to pool. This is actually another theme on top of the original. It's not the original, it's a theme on top of it. And so that's pool. Let's go into games again. Uh, Eyes is cool. Aizu is a uh, visual kind of game. You have different uh, different themes you can set up. Let me show you some of the themes. Uh, there's original Bejeweled. You can set it up to be, let's say, The Simpsons. And you can set up Super Mario. Just to show you how it plays. Uh, this is actually my favorite one. It uses the uh, Pokemon Puzzle one. And so that's Aizu. Next one I like is called Marbles. The whole point of the game is to get this little blue ball into the uh, goal zone. The yellow one's trying to keep you from going in there. You gotta make sure you avoid the red ones. You can see I just died for hitting the red one. Um, I physics I, as I positively love it's one of my favorite games. There's tons of different levels you can set up. I have uh, I think almost all of them set up. I'm just gonna choose one at random. So the whole point of this is to get this blue ball to hit this icon without falling through. And the ways you can do it, you can draw lines to it, you can add a rock, whatever makes it easier for you to uh, get the ball there. Let me show you one. Just draw a simple line. Let's see, there you go. Get out of here. Next one I'm going to skip to over to is a uh, pig shooter. It actually has loud sound effects, so make sure you're careful where you're playing this. <laughs> Control it by moving it. Tap to shoot. <laughs> and so that's big shooter. Labyrinth, another game that uses the. Uh, Controller, what you do is you move the um, the 
marble around, try to get it into the hole without hitting the black ones. It's a little hard to do, like I said, like playing while trying to videotape. And so that is Labyrinth. Uh, let's get to this. This is Doom. It's an early version. Not really that good at the moment. It plays though, I guess. Hopefully they'll change the controllers up a little bit. So look around, move, double tap to shoot. I guess that's an early version of the game. Still waiting for updates. It's not really that good at the moment. Uh, Yeti 3D is pretty good. Just to showcase some of the 3D capacity the iPhone has. This is a uh, another Doom style game. To the level pack. Runs actually pretty smooth. Uh, there's a few bad guys in here, so I can find one. Shoot. And so this is Yeti 3D. Next one is that I like is called Scrabble. It's actually quite a fun game. And so just stick it on there, try to throw something out. Not trying to spoil anything, but that's how you would play and it's actually a two player game. Look at the game. Next one is called T four two. It's actually a tennis style game. Well this is Pong and tennis at the same time. This actually uses the gravity effect, so it's a little hard to play like this. There we go. You can play against yourself if you're really that bored. Um, Penguin Attack is actually pretty cool as well. This one's actually reskinned to be a uh, soft part. It's supposed to be a penguin and use the accelerator to move Cartman around as Saddam tries to fall on you. Oh. And so that is playing one attack reskin to be soft work. Uh Scum VM, I guess is how you would call it. It's an old uh PC emulator. Oh, some of the old games, Play Monkey Island. Start. So, many of you remember Monkey Island. It's very playable, nice and fun game. Let's get out of here. Uh, I believe that's all the games. Well, let me just show you Blackjack. This is really good. That's one of the best ones on here. Swipe to stand. Oh. Double tap to hit. So that's Blackjack. Is there any, any more games on here? There's a couple more. I'm just going to skip over them just because I don't have that much time. Oh, iPad Man 3D. It's uh, actually a reskin of. Yeti 3D, and this is set up to be a Pac-Man style game. So what you have to do is try to get all the little cubes. Let me show the cubes. There's no ghost in here. It's actually more of a monster kind of thing. Try to find a monster. And there he is. Try to keep stay away from him with that. With getting all the. And so that's that. And that's most of the games. I didn't get to show you all of them, but that's it.
Hope you enjoy it.